Welcome to our consumer free online workshop titled What Happens When I Can't Pay My Home Loan? Educating Homeowners, Enabling Informed Choices. Welcome to session three titled When I Have a Government Back Loan. The course in the host site, hardshipresource.com, does not contain any real estate advice. The real estate information is provided for general informational and educational purposes only and is not a substitute for professional advice. Accordingly, before taking any actions based upon such information, we encourage you to consult with the appropriate professionals. We do not provide any kind of real estate advice. Welcome to the section on federally backed loans. Do you have a hardship, such as the loss of your job, the loss of income, or sickness? Is that hardship related to COVID-19? If your goal is to keep your home, then there are several options available to you to consider and information that you need to have available to you. You will need a current or recent statement of your mortgage. That statement will identify the type of home loan you have and if it is a federally backed loan. Federally backed loans are FHA, VA, Fannie Mae, and Freddie Mac. If your hardship is related to COVID-19, then the Coronavirus Aid, Relief, and Economic Securities Act, HR 748, created specific types of relief available to homeowners, including payment forbearance and payment arrangements, specifically for federally backed loans. It is important that you act. Do not delay in contacting your servicer. You are not alone. Any hardship that could prevent on-time payments need to be addressed. Important, please identify to your loan servicer if you've been affected by COVID-19. Do not get your information from the news, as we know the news is not always accurate. By calling early during this hardship, your loan servicer will be able to notate your file and provide some relief from unwanted collection calls. Under the CARES Act, as it relates to all federally backed loans, borrowers may request up to 180 days forbearance on the payment of the mortgage. In the case of multifamily one to four units where the mortgage is current at the time of the request, the servicer must grant that forbearance for up to 30 days. Any additional time needed for multifamily must be requested monthly. No late fees, penalties, or interest will be permitted to accrue on borrower's account. This is subject to payment history. Under the CARES Act, there is a moratorium on new foreclosures, which does not apply to vacant or abandoned properties. For pending foreclosures, no motion or judgment or action to cause a sale to be scheduled and no sales will be executed. Borrowers granted relief under the COVID-19 by being allowed to make partial payments, skip a payment, modify the loan, or other assistance. Mortgage servicers are to report the obligation as if the borrower were current on payments. If already delinquent on payments, the delinquent status may be maintained, but if a borrower brings the loan current during the forbearance period, the loan is then to be reported as current unless it is charged off. The following links and resources are available in your workbook for Freddie Mac, Fannie Mae, and FHA. These are important if you need to determine what type of federally backed loan you have or if you have a federally backed loan. If you have experienced any level of discrimination, we have provided two phone numbers for the Fair Housing Discrimination Hotline as well as the Homeowner Preservation Foundation. This concludes the session on government backed loans. Thank you for attending this free online course. Please refer to the resource section for forms, links, and your workbook to download. We look forward to seeing you in session four titled non-government back loans.